Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Fatih. My musical journey started when I was in middle school. Firstly, I, started, I learned how to play an A. Then I began to be fascinated by other players except for my teacher. For example, Arjan Irmak. Because he was playing Indian, Arabic, and even jazz music with, with, on A. So he was the one who gave me the first desire to discover other kinds of music. Once I heard Haruprasa Chairosa, who is the most famous Bansuri player in the world, which I have played a couple minutes ago. So I began listening to Indian classical music and I made the decision, this is what I want to do. I have to, I have to play Indian music. So I got a band story from internet and start learning it by myself. And the more I listened to Indian music and went into detail of it, the more I discovered how Turkish and Indian music are similar. By the way, what I mean by Indian music is not what you listen in Bollywood films, <laughs> because it's completely different. What I do play is classical Indian music. And so, what's what's meaning of my title, Raga and Makam? Actually, there is the same concept which is called Makam in Turkish music. It is in Indian music, it is Raga. So what's meaning of them? Raga and Makam means simply uh, a combination of notes which one can express his or her feelings, such as sadness, happiness, romance, low. And after that, I'm going to play a, 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 a makam with Ney and a raga with Bansuri. By the way, Ney is a Turkish instrument, as you all know. And during my journey, I discovered that how some ragas and makam can be similar, as if Indian and Turkish music, as if they are coming from just one source. And right now, I'm going to demonstrate and play you some, something. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.